Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Camel Cowboy Outdoors. Um, just coming along here. Um, I caught a coyote here a while ago in these thick spruce. And then I took the power ram and I moved it back a little bit. Well, I'm looking in there and it looks like we caught ourselves another coyote. So, let's see if we can get in here. Take the stick and knock some of the snow off these branches so we can get in there without without getting covered in snow. Get a bunch of snow down my neck. I don't need that. I don't need that. Let's, let's get in here. Hopefully it's a good one, folks. Let's see. Not too big of a dog. I had the snare right there. The first one I caught here was right up here. Right up here. So I just moved it back down the trail a little bit. Let's have a look at him. Guess it's a good enough little dog, guys. It's not very big. I thought maybe he had shoulder mites, but I don't think so. I think he's got all his hair. It's just pulled ahead here from the snare. I believe. And I think he's got it all. Alrighty. Well, I am going to get him out of there. And we will carry on our way. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to Get another snare and I'm going to reset it right there again. It did, didn't really make much of a mess. You just come up through there and I caught. So, yeah, I'm just going to reset it there, guys. So, stay tuned. Well, hello, folks. Um, I just found this trail in the snow, these tracks. And I was wondering... If any of you wolverine experts can confirm to me if these are wolverine tracks. Try and get a close-up on some of them. They're a pretty big track. And here it looks like, you know, it was just walking, just stepping. But then over here, then it looks like it's kind of hopping. So if any of you guys, like I said, drop it in the comments if you can confirm that these are Wolverine tracks. The BC Newfie, Jason Roberts, would probably be able to tell me right away. There they are. All right, I'm going to keep traveling the line, guys. All right, my friends. I'm on the south side of the lake. Um, I've been seeing quite a few tracks now today. In fact, today, earlier, I saw two coyotes out on the lake together, and I've been seeing a lot of tracks, a lot of spots where there's scent posting now and stuff. The... Coyote rut is definitely in full swing. You see one track went through here. Um, anyways, there's one coming and hopped through there. And I had put a snare back there, oh, ages ago. Probably a month and a half ago, because there was a trail, nothing was moving on it but i don't see my snare 
It was right tucked in under those spruce there. And I don't see it standing there, so. Let's go have a look. Oh, this is deep, so. Let's go have a look. And I do see some fur piled up there, guys. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. These coyotes are moving now, so maybe we'll catch some more. Maybe we'll catch some more. In here, it looks like it's got decent enough fur. I had it had it tucked up right under this little tree here. I'm leaning against there because earlier they were coming through and they were going under this little tree. Well, let's see here. Probably not going to leave it here now, guys. I'm going to pull it out of here. But it looks like we got ourselves a decent dog. A decent dog. I'm happy with that, guys. It's going to take me a bit to get it untangled here. I'm going to need both hands. So I'm going to shut you fellas off and we'll carry on down the line. Well, my friends, I just came up here to my link set, and it seems we caught a fisher. This is the one where the, the meat kept disappearing, the bait kept disappearing. And then um, just up there over that hill, just over there, I had a fisher set, and I caught a fisher there. And I thought maybe I'd got rid of them, but this is obviously another one, so... That's three fisher I caught right in this area. I caught two over there in that set. And now one here in my link set. So anyways, guys, I'm going to take care of them. And then we'll have a better look at them. All right, my friends. There it is. Nice enough little fisher. Guessing it's a female. Yeah. There's sunk its foot in there. That's a uh, number three Victor forest spring with rubber jaws. And it sure sunk its foot in there. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get it out of there. I'm going to fix this pen up a little bit. And I'm going to reset this. Don't have much time left. Uh, Fisher and mink and lynx. Martin, I guess that all ends on... March 1st, so I'm going to get this reset. Hopefully I can catch a lynx yet. Stay tuned, friends. Well, folks, just checking here again. The north side where I caught that big fisher. My wolverine set, there's nothing in there. Down here, I had a power ram, and it looks like I caught a fox in there. We got fresh snow, and I was seeing some fox tracks on the snow, and they came up this way, and we got them, but I think it's kind of a cross fox. Of course, caught around the flank, like foxes so often do. Because they're small and they hop through. Pretty sure a dark one. It's not. I guess he'd be classed as a red fox, but he's sure dark.
ripped his ear. What happens is sometimes those foxes, they get a red and a silver cross and they create a cross fox and, and you'll see they're not called a cross fox because they're crossed between a silver and a and a red. They're called a cross. They'll have, it looks like a cross right on their back. But then sometimes what happens is a cross fox will breed back with a red fox and you start getting other variations and that's what I would say this probably is. There's a cross fox that bred back red fox. But anyways, I guess we'll take them. I'll get this reset, guys. Well, here we got a really smart mink. This is right by the ranch. And um, I mean, his tracks are always just fresh here. There's maybe more than one going back and forth. But um, they're trotting around in the trees here on the edge. Then they come down here and they got a hole going through there. I suppose they're getting down under the ice there somewhere, probably getting into a rat run. But I did set a couple traps here and you just can't catch them. They, they come across up here. They had a hole here one day. I put a trap there, nothing. Then they didn't come out there anymore. Then they made a hole here. Put a trap there, I thought he'd just have to come through it, nothing. The thing is the snow is so deep and they just undermine it and they come out somewhere else. Now they're coming out here. So I am gonna put a baited box here and we'll see how that works. We'll see if that don't get them. I'll let you know next time we come and check if we get them or not but i am going to just take this box tuck it back here got some beaver meat in there i'm going to tuck it back there and i'm going to put a trap in there and we'll see what happens friends let's see what happens Hey everyone, uh, Boeslinger Outdoors requested that I show the feet of these fish here up close. He wanted to see the bottom of them, so I am just filling his request. That's the hind foot. Let's see if we can. And there's the front foot. If you guys don't have Bow Slinger Outdoors, check him out. He's got a good channel. Talk to you later. Well, my friends, that's the kind of day it's been. Still pulling in the fur, but like I said, it's getting, getting late in the year for some of them animals. They don't have much time left for the fisher and the mink. Hopefully I can catch that one mink there yet. That would make me happy. Anyways, until next time, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you down the trail.